Hey, how's it going everybody? Newcastle Ninja here, and what I have for you today is one from Travissa. This is the Volans, and this is dash 03RB for red and black, which is the G10 that's on this here. And it's a very attractive knife, and as soon as I saw that blade, I was like, holy smokes, I had to have it. Rarely do you see a knife with such a blade like this it's almost like stiletto and it is razor sharp we're talking 154 cm steel here now the volans also comes in different colors you can get it with a black blade with black micarta and they also have a stonewash version and a orange micarta, which I almost got, but I love a satin blade. And this one here is beautiful. Very nice. And man, is it sharp. Whew. But what's really the selling point of this one here is that point. It is a sewing needle. And this sucker is just meant for some some real uh real penetrating tasks <laughs> you could say and uh yeah it is pretty nice pretty ergonomic too i do like travissa and i haven't had one for a while and glad i got this one here i saw that beast blades had posted this one here uh just this past week and as soon as i saw that blade i was like sold it's really just not something that you see and when I saw that it was also on 154 CM steel and at a pretty decent price point for it and the materials and also being Travissa which I know is going to be quality yeah it was a no brainer I jumped on it as soon as I could and I did end up getting this one here so the Rockwell hardness on there, 154, is rated for 58 to 60. This does have ceramic ball bearings. And I did find that once you get past the detent point, or at least you let it drop there, you can give it a good little shake, and it'll you know, fall down really nice and smooth. And I'm sure if you were to adjust that pivot, that could also work for you. Got a little bit of jip in there on the thumb, on the uh, flipper tab. And I gotta say, with the, uh, you have dual thumb studs. And it fires right out. Loving it. Not so easy to, uh, to get a reverse finger flick in there. I can't do it. But if you can, more power to you. So yeah, this is, uh, this is really nice. And I'm finding myself really loving that flipper tab on this here a little bit of a sharp angle on the thumb studs but still nothing too aggressive you just get right in there and fire it off at that 45 degree angle and yeah, it pops open faster than a switchblade and with that type of blade it does resemble the uh, what is it the uh, the godfather versions of uh of some of the autos I've seen. I'm trying to think of that company name, but that's uh that's what it does remind me of is a stiletto. And man, is it sharp. Overall we're looking at a 7.99 inches or 203 millimeters. The blade itself is 3.26 inches. And let's see. Yeah. It's right there and again 7.99 they say yeah it's just just under let's see I'll get it right there I don't know depending on where you see it I'd say right on eight inches but yeah this is a really nice blade and all the way to the edge there I guess if you come right to the handle, it could be considered three and a half and maybe 3.26 there to the blade. And uh, yeah, it's uh, the blade width itself is 0 0.9 inches or 
uh, 23 millimeters and the blade thickness is 0 0.13 inches which is 3.5 uh, millimeters if you use that handle itself is 4.72 inches or 120 millimeters and the handle thickness is just over a half inch being 0 0.53 inches or 13.5 millimeters and for a decent sized knife that it is, it's at a generous 3.75 ounces in weight, or 106.4 grams. Now at first I was kind of hoping that the blade would be a little longer than say 3.5 or 3.26, but I'm not complaining because the more I'm getting this in my hand, and the more I'm really liking the way that they've done the ergos on this handle, I am digging it. And then, just slightly contoured and it is a beautiful G10 nice little break from getting my car to so many times I do like the the, uh, the grooves that they have in there and it does really help for finger placement and for grip support you got plenty of access there to the liner and yeah you let it just drop there on the thumb the flipper tab there that's a safe way of doing it if you want and just maybe give it a little shake or what I like to do is come around from the other side which is also very comfortable and maybe just follow through with a finger so yeah this is a nice one and again I'm so impressed with the sharpness of this blade and I'll just show you real quick that is no joke. <laughs> it is super, super sharp. Let's see if I get a little hair off there. Oh yeah, razor sharp. That is no joke. Man, can't go wrong with 154 CM. And they do a little, uh, really great job with that grind on there. Again, what a beautiful knife. Got some nice jimping up here, too. I do wish that it would go up a little higher, but um, as you can see, it's uh, looks like it's pretty well, it's not going to be too brittle up top, even though that does come to such a fine point. The whole thing is really well done. The lockup on it, nice and solid. And closing it, it's uh, very even. Again, that is only a right side tip up only carry uh, clip on there. And they did do a good job of recessing the screws inside it. There's no mushroom showing. And everything is relatively right there. You might have a little bit showing from the pocket with that there. Those look like T8s. And yeah, you do have a nice lanyard loop as well. Nice black G10 backspacer. And looks like you uh, got some decent milling in there too as well. So all in all, this is a very nice solid knife. And whew, sharp. It's a sewing needle. Yeah. And... Of course, uh, pretty easy to do some tasks like that. <laughs> it is a razor. It's a fun knife and a very, very solid defensive option if you needed it to be. But there you go. This is available at White Mountain Knives. You can feel free to use the code there, NCN, Newcastle Ninja, for 10% off from there. And uh, right now, I don't believe they are in stock, but they are at other places like the Amazon. So uh, I say get them while you can because this is definitely a great knife to have. So if you would, please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.